Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, your one-stop place on YouTube for everything you need to know when it comes to raising, training, and living with Siberian Huskies. Now on today's video, we're going to be talking about crate training, which you typically want to do with a Siberian Husky puppy. Now we don't have any Siberian Husky puppies today, but we do have both of these Huskies who are crate trained. Now for those of you that are brand new to the channel, the Husky on the right is the Lady Husky, and her name is Gila, and the Husky on the left is Britney Spears, and he's the Boy Husky. Now both of these Siberian Huskies are crate trained, but they're going to help us learn some really cool tips and tricks to make the whole crate training process easy on you and your brand new Husky puppy. Now, if you're getting a Husky puppy or you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky puppy, it's important to know that crate training is one of the most important things that you're going to want to teach them early on. It's a fundamental skill for Huskies to know. It prevents them from having anxiety. It keeps them calm when you're not home. And most of all, when they're young, it keeps them out of trouble. So contrary to popular belief, crates are not bad for Huskies. They're actually great. But you have to train your Siberian Husky in a positive environment, letting them know that a crate is a good place to be, not a place for punishment. A lot of people make a ton of mistakes, and today we're going to go over all of those mistakes, the things that you should be doing, and a few tricks to help you conquer some of the most common problems people have when trying to crate train their Siberian Husky puppy. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula, and we'll go over some of the best tips and tricks to make crate training a positive experience for both you and your Siberian Husky so you feel better and you make positive progress. Are you ready, bro? Yes, I am. Okay, then let's do it. Scooby da bop 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 ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo doo. Okie doke, let's dive right into crate training. We got both of the Siberian Huskies just chilling in their crates. So I'm gonna start off by saying, if you wanna get in depth into crate training, if you're looking for some amazing advice, some amazing tips into getting started when it comes to getting your Husky adjusted and used to being in a crate, we have tons of videos on this and we urge you to go and watch those videos. Today I'm kinda just gonna go over what you should do in case you're having trouble crate training your Siberian Husky. We have tons of people out there who are having problems, having issues because they can't figure out a way to effectively crate train their Husky. So first things first that I want to stress is if you're going to go ahead and get a crate for your Siberian Husky, make sure it is not too big and not too small. In my opinion, these crates are way too big for both of these Huskies, but since they are crate trained, I am okay with them being in a much larger crate. It's more about them being comfortable when I'm gone, but when you're training, you don't want the crate to be too big. And the reason you don't want the crate to be too big is because when it is too big, Siberian Husky puppies will take advantage of the extra space and they will poop and pee in the crate. Typically Siberian Huskies don't want to use the bathroom wherever they sleep or wherever they stay so if they do start peeing and pooping in the crate that may mean that you have too big of a crate space. Now on the contrary you want to make sure that the crate isn't too small also. Your Husky should be able to get up and turn around easily in the crate but that's about it. You don't want them going around and wandering. You don't want it to be a place where they have tons and tons of space. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that the crates are in a good location because if the crates aren't in a good location, your Siberian Husky puppy is never going to feel comfortable and it's going to consistently be a struggle for you. Now check it out. My crates are right here in the dining room and you can see the living room is right out there. Whenever they're sitting in their crate, at least Britney Spears, maybe not so much Gila, but he can see me when I'm sitting on the sofa. This is extremely important for dogs that are learning to be crate trained, especially puppies. You may even want to put this crate space instead of being right here, you know, behind this wall, you may want to actually just set it out right here so that the couch is right next to where you're crate training your puppy. Now remember, when it comes to crate training your puppy, it's not an easy task and it's going to take a lot of time and patience, but being next to them is going to help them be much more relaxed in terms of going going through the process of learning how to be isolated and be alone in the crate. I even suggest going as far as sleeping on the sofa next to the crate where your Siberian Husky is going to sleep in for maybe a few days, if not up to a week. I know that that's insanely inconvenient, like you probably have work and you probably don't want to be sleeping right next to your Husky puppy whenever they're
you're trying to sleep in their crate. But if you do this for the first week, it's going to help expedite that process and then you'll never have to do it again. What's it worth to you? A lifetime of struggling with your Siberian Husky or just one week of your life sticking next to your best friend and letting them get used to getting comfortable being in their crate. Now, before we move on to number two, let me just say this. If you think about the crate as being a cage, if you think about the crate as being a place of confinement, you're basically setting yourself up for failure. You don't want to look at crates in a negative light. You don't want to look at them as places of isolation or punishment. Human beings just tend to do this because cages kind of reflect and look like prison cells, right? We see bars, we feel like, you know, punishment. You have to think of crates as being more of a den-like area for your Siberian Husky, a place where they can go and feel safe, feel protected from things that they don't want to be stressed about, like, I don't know, Roombas or other things in the house that they don't want to think about. Okay, so maybe you keep the crate really close to you every single night. Maybe that's something you already practice. You sleep right next to the crate, you make sure your Siberian Husky's right next to you, and you keep an eye on them the best you can to make sure that they're stress-free. What's another Another step that you can take to make sure that the crate training process is effective but extremely easy. You know, something that's not so stressful. Now this next trick I'm going to teach you, you're going to need a crate that has two separate doors. If you can find a crate that has two separate doors, then this next trick is literally going to save your life. You're also going to need to get a puppy pen, which is basically gates that you can form together to create a makeshift pen for your puppy to play in. When you combine the two of these things, you're going to get something Thing that looks like this. Boom! There you go. Check this thing out. This is basically a solution to anybody that's having a problem crate training their Siberian Husky puppy. So what we do is we let our Siberian Husky basically enter the crate, right? Like they normally would. And then the crate basically comes into here where they can hang out play with toys, and get some treats. You reward your husky for hanging out in this area where they're confined, but not to this tiny square. It helps them get used to entering in and out of the crate, but at the same time being confined from you by this bigger pin gate. So a great strategy to take is to put some toys or some treats in here, and then ask your Siberian husky puppy, hey, you know, why don't you go check those things out? If they're still really scared to go into the crate, then start putting treats in the crate. <laughs> Look at Gila, she's like, dude, I'm already liking this already. You can just keep this up forever, bruh. Now, like I said, you need a crate that has two different doors, but once you get one, it makes things easier because check it out, my Husky's just chilling in there and all I have to do now is close this crate and boom, she's isolated in the entire play area. She's like, whoa, dude, you didn't tell me you were locking me in here. Now it's Britney Spears' turn to go check it out. Yeah, dude, check it out, what do you think, man? When your Siberian Husky puppy is in this play area, it's a great idea to reward them for going in there and hanging out, being comfortable entering in and out of the crate area, and keep it open just like this, right out by the sofa in the middle of the house, so that they feel comfortable coming in and out, and this just becomes a regular thing to them. A lot of Siberian Husky puppies are very intimidated of the idea of getting in and out of a tiny square box, and I think most of us can understand and appreciate that. So to help them get used to it, be sure you give them tons of treats whenever they're doing this kind of behavior. Anytime they're sitting in the crate or anytime they're in this area, make sure that you're rewarding heavily with treats and high tone praise. Yeah, you're going to sound a little bit ridiculous whenever you're praising your pup, but just remember, high-pitched tones, those are the things your husky wants to hear whenever they want to know if they're doing something right or something wrong. So get really excited and be like, Woohoohoo! You did a good job, dude! Awesome! If you're trying to get on a schedule and you want to implement this type of play pin slash crate setup to try and help your husky get used to the crate, a good idea is just to start by having your husky go, Cage! Good boy. Don't even close the crate door yet. Just let them go into the cage and chill. Then come over here and be like, hey buddy, 
yeah, come check out the toys, dude. Look, we're like separated, but we're still friends and we can still hang out and stuff. No reason to be stressed, bro. And now check it out. Both my Huskies are just hanging out in this playpen area and they're separated entirely by the crate. And when your Husky puppy just gets a little bit comfortable, you can go ahead and just take that crate door and close it. By having a setup like this and having treats and toys in the playpen area, you're really encouraging your Siberian Husky to consistently walk through the crate, which is something you want them to get used to doing. Usually playpen gates are really inexpensive, and if you can afford a crate, you can typically afford playpen gates. When it comes to lots of people who have tried this out, they say it is a game changer and it helps them immensely. Expanding the play area of the crate is just something that Siberian Huskies appreciate so much and eases them into being comfortable with being isolated away from you. So combine the two and see if it helps you out when it comes to crate training your Siberian Husky puppy. Dude, you kind of like this playpen situation a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah, you do. Thanks for showing everybody how comfortable it can be. So let's say your Siberian Husky is doing their crate training in this play area. You're sitting down on this couch, basically posting up for the next few days because you need them to get used to being isolated away from you, but you want them to remain comfortable. Our final tip when it comes to training your Siberian Husky how to be comfortable in a crate is to be consistent. Now, I know that this is the most obvious one, but I'm telling you, it's the most important one. So many people give up so fast when it comes to crate training their Siberian Husky husky they just look at their husky and they're like oh man my husky puppy is so sad they're literally screaming all day in the crate and i just feel like i'm ruining their life listen dog siberian huskies are strong willed animals they're willing to push nature to the edge they are insanely strong and have amazing endurance them being in a little cage next to you is the least of their problems. Don't let them fool you. Siberian Huskies are going to scream and cry. They're literally going to try and break down that in entire gate just to let you know, hey dude, I don't want to be in this crate. But it's just the same as a three-year-old literally screaming and crying because they can't have a toy at Toys R Us. You just have to remember that every Siberian Husky, every dog is different. It takes a little bit of tweaking of the method that you gotta use whenever you're trying to figure out the best way to get your Husky used to something. But I promise you, if you give up, if you give in, if your Siberian Husky is screaming and crying and you let them out of that crate, guess what? They're gonna remember that screaming and crying gets them out of any situation that they don't wanna be in. So one of the best rules of thumb is to never let your Siberian Husky out of that crate right there unless they're absolutely calm and quiet. If your Husky's crying, if they are screaming at the top of their lungs and they're like, oh, the last thing I suggest you do is take them out of that crate. You gotta wait for them to calm down first. And once they do, then you can let them out. But let me tell you this, once they start calming down in the crate, well, then you're already well on your way to crate training your pup. So those are the three things that we recommend you focus on if you're having trouble crate training your Siberian Husky or if you're experiencing any difficulty getting used to them being alone. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. We'll answer them ASAP. We'll link everything that you need for this whole entire setup down below in the description in case you guys wanna build this whole thing to try out at home and make your Siberian Husky comfortable when doing the crate training process. If you had a blast today, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more free free Huskaroni pizza information. And until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What, Dude? That's right. Whatever we make. Peace! Scooby-Doo-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop